In the previous video, we saw how the three-dimensional version of Leonardo da Vinci's squared circle from his Vitruvian Man drawing was created by 3D artist Pixel Urge, using the dimensions shown in this image taken from the research publication by Vitor Murtillo. And in this video, Thomas and I will share how the metahuman Vitruvian Man statue was created based on da Vinci's original drawing. For Thomas to have a reference for the position and size of the metahuman statue, I captured the two poses of the Vitruvian Man using the XN's Link suit and the Manus Prime 2 gloves. I then assigned the animations to Enzo. Using the metahuman control rig, I adjusted the body inside of the Vitruvian structure to get a better approximation of the poses. And in order for each of the poses to be symmetrical, all I did was copy the values of the controls from one side of the body and paste those control values to the other side of the body. Once I was finished posing Enzo, I added both poses in the structure and then assigned the body morph. To convert this to a single static mesh, I'm going to select both meshes and go to Actor and select Convert to Static Mesh. Based on the position and scale of this metahuman static mesh, Thomas will now walk us through the process of how he created and textured the statue. For the metahuman statue, I use the CC circuit model as a base, and using Spotlight to get the proportions done in ZBrush, I adjusted the legs and arms to match Leonardo da Vinci's drawing. As you can see, I was trying to match as best as possible drawing while keeping the anatomy the best as possible. Here, the biggest challenge was to have the proper connections between the muscles while having four arms and four legs. As I was using my ZBrush file with subdivisions from our CC circuit course, I had all the skin details there. In Maya, I reorganized my UVs to get it more optimized for working in real time. With our UVs done, I went into Substance 3D Painter where I baked the mesh maps. I use a mix between smart materials and smart mask to have a base on the stone material. And after that, I use some hand painting techniques to tell the story of our sculpture. Now that Thomas has shared with us how he created the statue, we chose to import this high poly, highly detailed model into Unreal and turn it into a nanite mesh to ensure an optimized workflow. To import this as nanite, I'm going to drop the FBX of the statue into the project. In the import settings, I'm going to check on Build Nanite, and since I'm using Lumen and not baking any lights, I'm going to uncheck Generate Light Map UVs. I'm going to check on Combine Meshes as the statue geometry is composed of three meshes, and then I'm going to import this. I'm going to open this up, and if we take a look at the triangle count, we can see that this has a little over 4 million triangles. Since we had multiple instances of this geometry in the scene, it was helpful to have this converted to nanite. For the textures, Thomas exported them as UDEMs. In order to import UDEMs, you need to go to Project Settings and enable Virtual Textures. With this enabled, I can now go to Import, and all I have to do is select the first texture of the base color, the first texture of the normal, and the first texture of the roughness, and then import them. With the UDEMs imported, when I open up each texture, we can see that all of our UDEM textures have been combined into one texture asset, and that all of our UDEMs have been laid out to the UV tiles. The next step is to assign the textures to one of the materials. Now that I've done this, I can now assign this material to all of the geometry, and with the material assigned, we can now see all of the texture details Tom has created. And this is how we converted the Vitruvian Man statue to nanite and imported the UDEMs. This is the final behind the scenes video of Enzo. Creating this short film and bringing Enzo to life using the Mesh to MetaHuman plugin was an incredible learning experience for Thomas and I. We hope that the information we shared with you will help you with your own journey in telling stories with MetaHumans.